So today I'm going to be creating a go makeup. I'm going to begin by adding spirit gum to my forehead and tacking it using my finger. Once the spirit gum's tacky, I'm then taking my snazaroo wax and I'm going to apply that in the shape desired. I'm using my finger to smooth the wax into my skin so that the application is seamless and doesn't look fake at all. Once I'm happy with my application, I'm then taking some loose translucent powder and I'm going to pack that on the edges. My wax is applied, I'm going to move on to my base. I'm going to use the Collection Last and Perfection on a brush to buff that my skin. If I used a sponge around the wax, the wax would lift, so a brush is the best technique to use. Once the foundation is applied, I'm then going in with a translucent powder again and applying that around the seams of the cut. On the brows, I'm going to be using the WB Co Soap Brows and applying that through my brows just to get a smooth, natural look. My collection powder, I'm just going to apply that all over my face just to set that foundation in. Moving on to bronzer and applying that to my cheekbones, my forehead, chin and nose. I'm just going to apply my mascara before I finish off my base so that my mascara is dry before I put my false lashes on. Taking the end of a spoolie and I'm dipping it into some brown eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that across my nose and cheeks to create fake freckles.
one of them with the Revolution Blush Dream Palette. I'm just going to take one of the lightest pinks and apply that to my cheekbones. I'm then going to be taking a mixture of all the highlighters and adding that to the peak of my cheek. I'm now going to apply my lash glue to my lashes and leave to become tacky. While I'm waiting, I'm going to mix my red and black Snazaroo paint and fill in my cut. I'm then going in with a fluffy brush on the James Charles palette and I'm just going to take the red and the brown just to create the effect of trauma around my cut. Now my eyelash glue has become tacky, I'm applying my eyelashes. Moving on to my lips, I'm taking a red lip liner and a red matte lipstick and I'm just filling in my lips. My lips are done. I'm then going with the Ben Nye Dark Blood and I'm applying that through my cut and through my hair. I'm now taking a stipple sponge, I'm just applying the blood to the outside of my cut just to give it that realistic look. I'm now taking the blood and applying a drip so that it runs down my face as if it's a fresh wound. I'm just taking my brush with the blood on and just applying it to places I think it needs to be put just to fully bring that look together. That is the finished look all complete. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.